Hey everyone, welcome back. I got this scrap piece of wood. Uh, it's California pepper. It's got a bunch of cracks, some rot, punky areas. Um, see if I can turn a little quick dish out of this. Got it mounted up on a face plate. Um, it's kind of an odd shape, but let's see what I can make out of this. Um, I have this other project. Uh, my cousin gave me this uh, piece of Brazilian pine uh, that I've filled with resin so as i wait for this to cure fully cure just wanted a quick little project and so i'm going to see if there's anything i can salvage out of this little chunk of wood uh rounded it off on the bandsaw see what i can make out of it um, hopefully it holds together because there is a lot of uh rotten rotten space inside so we'll see what happens Still some moisture in here. And I'm gonna keep working this away. See if I can get rid of all this rotten, punky wood. Get down to something where I can figure out what shape I want to go with. Keep turning until I get through this crap and see what I'm left with.
I'm telling how deep these things go. And they go all the way through it. It's pretty solid though. I'm gonna make a tenon. See what happens. Got a two inch tenant that's a quarter inch deep. Here's the base for my jaws to rest against. You know, I think this goes all the way through here too. So I've already taken a ton of material away. I'm just gonna make the dish and see what happens. So it'll have some of this uh, going through it, but we'll see what happens. I'm gonna clean up the outside a little bit more but I think this is the general shape. There's some cracks, some holes that go all the way through. But I think I got a pretty good surface. All right, looks like it's clean. We'll come back for sanding the bottom. Okay, before I get to sanding the bottom, I just wanted to show I made a couple little changes. Um, tenants the same, base is a little big, but I didn't want it to stand up on that. So I got this slanted shape of the bowl. I, rather than having a sharp edge, I squared off the corner and then I'll even this up when I flip it around. There's some cool spalting in there. It's a shame though, uh, this hole comes through. I don't know if you can see it right here. So there's no way to turn this out. I took away a lot of rotten wood hoping I can turn it out, but just can't go through and I'm sure that'll come through the bottom too. But this pepper, it's got some nice grain to it. It's gonna sand well, I think. Um, it was a little wet, so it, it'll sand well, and it'll just, these little holes, whatever it's from, just will be included in the final bowl. And it's got just a little bit of spalting there at the end. It's kind of cool. I'm interested to see how the bottom will turn out. But like I said, I'll bring you back for, for sand, at the end of sanding, I won't make you watch all of it. But we'll sand it up to 600 tonight and bring you back at the end for that. All right, got my mask off. I'll sand it up on the back side. You can see the front. I still have to dig that out. Um, I'm going to leave it attached to the faceplate tonight just in case there's any warpage and I can true up the tenant tomorrow. Um, you can see this is this will be the side rim. It slopes down to the side. Let me bring the light back slopes down to the side, another slope, and then you'll have the base. And when I turn out the tenon, I'm gonna fix this base a little bit. Won't be so quite, sorry for that, my fingers won't be quite so dramatic, but it's gonna be a raised, kind of a raised dish. 
um, since it's going to be more artistic. It is beautiful. Unfortunately, there's this little crack right through the spalted color, but the grain right through here is beautiful through the heartwood. I never knew that about California pepper. It seems so plain. Anyhow, we have these holes that'll come through to the top and these will come through to the bottom of the bowl as well. Um, so it's just, like I said before, it's gonna be included. Nothing I can do about that. Um, I turned enough away enough of the wood. Um, but man, check that grain out. Sand it up to 600, 80, 120, 180, 240, 320, 400, 600. Um, so that's the back side. Like I said, I'll leave it here tonight. Tomorrow, um, if I need to, I'll true up the tenant, flip it around in the four jaw chuck, and turn out the inside of the bowl. Back tomorrow. Okay, got it flipped around. We'll turn about 650, start uh, digging out the center of this. are awesome. I don't have much room in here but I want to leave the tail stock up for some extra support as long as I can. I'm not going to go too thin because of uh, the holes that go through. I'll get it down to somewhere between three quarter, three eighths and a quarter of an inch. Um, but yeah, just going to keep digging work the sidewalls first and then come to the middle afterwards. crack in there with that here's where that other thing comes through the bottom but because I angled it off I'm not going to go much deeper than this it's just a dish uh, because of the sharp angle I took on the outside so just a little bit more deeper bring the tail sock out of the way get rid of the middle 
clean this up a little bit. I wish there was more of this, this spalting, and it's almost like a bluish tint to this. Man, kind of cool. Anyhow, we'll bring you back with the tail stock out of the way. I switched to my uh, 3 8 inch bowl gouge. Little tear out right there, little tear out right there. Otherwise, wow, I gotta finish surface. Just try to clean up this a little bit. The holes don't really come here through here too bad. Over there, it's kind of unique. Yeah. Yeah, come back, try to clean this little bottom up get to sanding. mask off for a piece of wood that I thought was just about ready for the fireplace um, this turned out beautiful it had so many holes and punkiness and just it looked rotten on the inside but was able to take enough away and it just came out beautiful the colors the green absolutely amazing um, a little bit of warpage because it's still some wetness seven and seven eighths seven and three quarters so it's moved an eighth of an inch but you can tell it's just gorgeous um, these holes aren't from bugs I guess it's from a knot there's one hole here that goes through and then this little uh, bunch that goes right through there and then there's another crack maybe you can see it better from this side that crack shows through a bunch of holes right there kind of gives a character though some kind of knot or something i don't think it's bugs and then this one from the bottom that's out of this bunch that one hole comes through right there but all in all sure came out beautiful it's a beautiful dish sanded well up to 600 again um, anyway that's enough show and tell i guess We'll get it turned around in a jam chuck and uh, take off that tenon next.
almost there. Okay, made it concave. Obviously have clearance. Time to see if we can get the nub out of there. a little mark we got too much pressure where it broke off but we'll get this sanded up on the drill press and you'll never know Good. I'm going to put a finish on this tomorrow, but wanted to come back and just show these colors. Out here in California, we get, you know, lots of pine, uh, eucalyptus, um, California pepper, which I've really had no interest in. Um, but I guess I should be taking the, another look at California pepper. These colors are amazing. Um, like I said, just sand it up to 600. The blues and the greens up there, a little bit of spalting, truly is incredible. Um, you know, it was flawed, flawed wood. And I would, luckily, as I took it down, I was able to make something out of this. A raised dish. You can see the different angles I put on it. Um, and then it angles down on the, on the rim into the bowl. Just amazing. And definitely, uh, this this little piece was probably the worst I had drying over here. At all this wood I got, cedar smells amazing. Probably the worst little piece uh, had all these holes and sawdust coming out of it, and just parts of it felt squishy, punky. Um, so I figured I'd try to see if I could salvage something right versus throwing this in the fire pit, but. Wow, I'm so happy I did. I'm definitely, as California pepper doesn't look like much on the outside. Um, it just goes to show you never know what you'll find when you start turning it. Um, definitely gonna have to start collecting more California pepper and drying it out. Very impressed with this wood. Anyhow, um, I'll get it signed and bring it back for finishing it tomorrow. Okay, I'm back ready to put on a finish. I'm gonna do something a little different this time. I'm gonna use this Zinzer uh, shellac spray, which is wax free, so I'm basically gonna use it as a sanding sealer. I'll do two coats of this um, using steel wool in between the coats, and then I'm gonna follow it up with a tried and true finish um, after that. So two coats of the shellac spray and a coat of tried and true afterwards, and then I'll bring it back for the finished product when it's all done. But no need to show you at all, but we'll start with Yeah. Like I said, two coats of this uh shellac spray, kind of using it as a sanding sealer. And then we'll follow up with tried and true. But like I said, I'll bring it back uh with a finished product in a couple days. Hey, happy Easter. Welcome back. Here's the finished product. My little raised dish. Um, about seven inches, seven and three quarters inches wide. Um, this will probably end up on my coffee table with nuts or candy inside. Uh, something for the kids to snack on. Anyhow, I'm very happy with the finish. Uh, though I would have preferred a better cut of shellac with mixed with denatured alcohol. Um, still nothing a little elbow grease and steel wool couldn't fix. The tried and true definitely helped with the overall feel in the end. Um, prefer walnut, cherry, and so forth in terms of texture, but can't deny the beautiful colors 
and green in this pepper wood. With the reds, the browns, the green, blue up here, the different small things, it's just beautiful. And we don't have as many of the same options and abundances of options as much of the country has. A lot of palm trees in Southern California, obviously, various pine species, eucalyptus. There's also a lot of this California pepper. It's not one of my top choices, but it's definitely something I'll collect and turn more of in the future. Um, this, this, this piece was a pleasant surprise. I left it completely natural though, um, no cracks filled with CA glue or anything like that, mostly due to the cool, unique uh, patterns of the, these holes in the piece. So I just wanted to leave it, leave it natural. Um, but again, just very happy with how it turned out. This little piece of scrap wood that almost became firewood. Uh, it's just beautiful. And like I said, this will definitely end up on my coffee table. Anyhow, um, thanks again for watching. On to the next project. Hope you had a great holiday weekend.